Juba is saying it wants accountability for the UN troops involved in sexual exploitation of internally displaced women. South Sudan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs says the UN should not take the matter of sexual abuse as an administrative issue, but that it's a criminal case that should be treated as such. The government says the UN should withdraw the police units that are suspected of committing the sexual abuse back to WOW, where investigations should take place. Withdrawing the suspects to Juba would amount to attempted cover-up for those who committed the crimes, according to the government. After preliminary investigation, the UN decided to withdraw its 46 Ghanaian police officers from WOW to Juba. The UN insists its Office of Internal Oversight Services will conduct investigations into the matter. You cannot be a referee at the same time as a player. The UN cannot conduct investigation to itself. Underline this. We are asking this if we cannot do joint investigation with them. And then the independent does not mean they create their own body which is doing the investigation. The investigation mean the, the, the independent investigation mean a body which does not report to UN. That's the meaning of independent. It must not be reported to UN, it's not paid by the UN themselves. South Sudan's government father says the UN system of dismissing culprits from the mission and allowing them to return free to their countries of origin does not discourage committing sexual abuse by the UN officials. The government insists those found guilty of crimes should be prosecuted. Juba is now urging the UN to close down some of the protection of civilian sites and facilitate return of the internally displaced persons back to their homes. Patrick Coyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.